Most of you by now have heard of Charles Schwab to some capacity. In this day and age, Charles Schwab is taking the internet by storm. And it's quite hard to pronounce. Charles, Charles Schwab. There you go. In this video, I'm going to talk about everything you guys need to know about this incredible platform, along with the pros and cons of using the Charles Schwab platform. Without any more waiting, let's get into this video. Hey guys, my name's Tiago. Welcome to my channel. This is where we talk everything business, investing, and lifestyle, and where I give you practical tips and tricks for getting ahead in life. So if you like stuff like this, make sure you guys subscribe. Most likely your first question is, with all these crazy fintech companies such as Robinhood or M1 Financing, why the heck should I jump over and start using Charles Schwab? And that's a valid question because everybody my age or younger is probably using Robinhood or M1 Financing or some other app like that. I've personally used almost all the apps out there for desktop, for mobile, but right now I'm personally using Charles Schwab. Although these apps can be very easy and intuitive to use, but when you guys are ready to take your investment to the next level, Charles Schwab has a track record and tools and resources for you guys to use. Now, Charles Schwab has an incredible amount of products that they offer that you guys will not be able to find up in these startup fintech companies. So what exactly is Charles Schwab? You probably relate Charles Schwab to the Wall Street huge buildings and banks. And yes, that's part of it. I would call Charles Schwab a giant investment institution. They have their bank sectors, which will offer you your regular checking, savings, and money market accounts. While they also have their brokerage, which give you the financial products that you can invest, such as the IRAs, the stock, the annuities, and a lot more things that we're gonna jump further down in this video. You can also relate this company to platforms such as Fidelity or TD Ameritrade. Now, if you guys are really old school, if you guys really need to go and use a branch, Charles Schwab actually has branches throughout the United States. I believe the number is about 30. It might be more, but this is what I found out on the internet. Now, although these companies do have locations, they are not prehistoric. Now let's take a deep dive and, and check out this platform. Now their customer using their desktop platform and their web platform, they offer 0% commission trades on a lot of their financial products. Believe it or not, there's still companies out there with this movement that are still charging absurd fees for the trades. This is really important to track new investors because a lot of the newer investors, they don't have that much money. So anything counts for them. Let's jump into this scenario, for example. So let's say you wanted to buy a $20 stock. Now to buy that $20 stock, you would actually need $24 because $4 would go towards their commission and $20 would go to your stock. So imagine placing all those trades over time and all of those $4 adding up and how much of that money that added up you could have been using to invest. So with the newer companies starting the movement, Charles Schwab saw that they were doing this and they jumped on that bandwagon as well. And that's why companies such as Robinhood exploded when they came out because everybody saw a 0% trade, easy to use platform. So people started joining Robinhood in droves. And soon these big institutions caught on, they changed their fee structure so that they can be highly competitive with these other uh, FinTech startup company. Also with the negative news surrounding Robinhood in, these, in this past year or two, a lot of people that have been using that platform have looked to jump out and to change their money to a brokerage that has a better track record, better products, and better use. So with me saying all of this, let's jump in and talk about the pros and cons of using the Charles Schwab platform. So let's start with the pros. So Charles Schwab has amazing 24 seven customer support and you actually talk to a human that can understand you and that you can understand them on the other side of the phone. And with a lot of these FinTech companies, they outsource their customer service and some of them you, can, you can't even talk on the phone with. They have a robust ETF screening platform which is called Street Smart Edge that gives you reviews and investment inside when you're gonna make your trades. They have their mobile app, which allows you to trade on the go. Schwab offers an amazing amount of investment vehicles, such as mutual funds, bonds, futures, Forex, and my favorite one by far, fractional shares. So before when you saw companies such as Google 
or Samsung or so, some company that just has a ridiculous fee to invest in them, you, you needed the money to be able to buy that stock. But with Charles Schwab, they introduced the fractional share so you can buy fractions of that company in your portfolio um, and you don't need all that money to get started. Charles Schwab also offers a robo-advisor platform where if you're a brand new investor or you just wanna be hands off, they have an automated online system which creates a personalized portfolio for you for investing. Now, this platform also comes with fees, but what I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna drop a link here above in this video so you guys can click on it. I made a video about everything you need to know about the robo-advisor platform. Also, if you guys wanna to talk to somebody that gives you advice on investing, you can get your own dedicated person. Again, might have a fee. Let me reiterate this, there's zero dollar commission trades on ETFs in a couple of different investment vehicles. You have access to portfolio margin, which basically uses your portfolio as a collateral and allows you to take that money out to use it or investing in something. Guys, there's so much more that I can say about the pros, but if I missed anything, make sure to drop it down in the comment section below. I would like to know if you guys are using Charles Schwab and what I missed in if it's something big, I wanna know about it. Okay, cool, so we talked about the pros, now let's jump into the cons. So the usability is not as easy, straightforward, or intuitive as Robinhood. Also, supposedly, if you don't live in the US and Canada, you need a minimum of $25,000 to open up an account in Charles Schwab. So if anybody out there that's not living in the USA or Canada, you guys might need a lot of money to open an account, or, that you might not even be able to open an account with them depending on the country that you live in. So the con that really gets me is you can't do instant trades. What do I mean by this? So let's say that you just deposited money into the account. You can't just go and use that money right away to make a trade if you see a really good opportunity. No, you have to wait a couple of days for the money to settle in your account so you can go ahead and be able to make that trade. That's one big thing that I miss about Robinhood. Now, I don't know if Charles Schwab updated this feature or not, if they have this in some sort of a way. If they do, guys, please let me know in the comment down below because I love that feature. So in order for you to take advantage of certain opportunities, you do need to have money in the platform because if you don't have money and if you wait to transfer the money, that's the moment that the opportunity is there, you're probably gonna miss out on that opportunity. Now, besides these three things, I really don't have anything else negative to say about Charles Schwab. Is there something that you guys don't like? If there is, please make sure to drop it in the comment section down below. Also, Charles Schwab has a concierge program with some very high-end credit cards. So they partner with Amex to bring some very high-tiered credit cards. Now, these credit cards do have a high annual fee for you guys to have them and they do might require to have some credit history. If you guys want me to talk more about the subject, also let me know down below. So if you guys made it this far, you guys are set savages, straight up gangsters. Guys, for you, this is what I'm gonna do. So whenever I get to 100 subscribers, I'm gonna do a pretty insane giveaway. I already have in mind what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna do that for you guys. So make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell because you will get my up-to-date videos and you guys will see my rising subscriber count and potentially whenever I do do that giveaway, you guys might be able to get what I'm gonna give you. So if you guys loved what I talked about, this is what I'm gonna do for you guys too. I'm also gonna drop two videos here on the screen, make sure you click on these videos because they are packed with value. So click on them, damn it. Hey guys, it's been great. Till next time.